hello friends welcome to how to zone solution and production today we are going to discuss how to make a simple plugin this plugin have one admin section where user can enter footer text and this footer text will display on our front end footer section okay just go to www directory and go to your project and just go to WP content plugins and in plugin section just make a new plugin name in my case I am going to set as hello world and make a new PHP file name as hello world and this file name same like your folder name or your plugin name and just open this PHP file and just add this template top of your page for time saving I already have this template you can also copy this template from your predefined plugins or default plugins of WordPress like in this plugin you can also copy this template okay I am going to name it as test plugin I give name as hello plugin and just enter your version name author name a link which you like okay just I am going to save this plugin and now I am going to plugin page and now you can see that our hello plugin is showing on plugin page and also fetching all the information we entered plugin template information now I am going to add new menu just copy this code and paste in your plugin file we will discuss every part of this code first we add a new action which will add a new admin menu in this sidebar and this admin menu has calling this function where we will show a new menu detail we will add new menu detail which has one main menu and this menu has a sub menu and this main menu has footer text which is a page title and next is menu title which is also footer setting and capability manage setting which will use for manage settings and menu slug is footer underscore setting page which will make a relation with some menu as footer setting page and function is footer underscore text admin page which will show that what you want to show in this menu page for testing I am going to just show this is where we will edit the variables and some menu is same like a main menu now we will save this code and active this plugin and now you can see that we have new footer setting menu which has two menu name as footer setting and sub menu title which we already add in our plugin code after setting and sub menu title which is sub menu title you can also change sub menu title and footer setting title now when we click on footer setting menu 
and it will call this function and show this string just go to the setting page now you can see that it show the string which we already add in our plugin code this is where we will edit the variables now we will call this function instead of this testing function and and this function will show the form and this form has a one field which has a footer text for this purpose instead of add the form code in this function we will add a new page where we will add the form code just copy this page name and just add a new php file in our plugin folder and open this page and just copy this code which i already have in my text file for time saving just copy this code and paste this code in this code we will just have a one form and this form has a text field user will enter value of footer text in this text field and when user will click on this button and this footer text name value will send to this o section and we will just save this user value in our footer underscore text variable and what is get options and what is update options wordpress built in has a functionality where we can save any values in this global variables and for adding for adding we will just use update underscore option and just add a name of your variable and just enter the value of variable it will automatically save this variables values into database we will just use get underscore options and enter the name of your variable and it will fetch variable value for you and in this function we will just saving this values in our footer underscore text and when user will click on submit button and then we will show also content update successfully message on our top area and also we will show the footer underscore text value which user will enter in text field every time when user will go to this footer setting page they will show the previous footer underscore text values in text field instead of empty text field okay for testing i am just going to save this code and also save this hello world dot php code and just go to footer setting and now you can see that form which we already add in footer setting page dot php and we include this page in our empty setting page and this is footer setting configuration is the title of our page now for testing we are just going to add new title name as copyright of hello world text and just click on save button and now you can see that content update successfully is showing on the header which we already add in our footer setting page and when we go to again footer setting page now you can see that copyright of word hello world is displaying with the help of this get option function you can also link this sub menu title page same like as your footer setting page just make a new 
child menu handle functions and add any code which you like okay our footer setting page is ready and now we will display this copyright of hello world string on our home page footer instead of changing our footer.php or any code of wordpress just copy this function and paste in your hello world php plugin file and this add action will add a new hook in wp footer which we are discuss in previous section our footer.php has footer hook which is added in before ending of body tag and just add a new function just name of your function in my case for testing i am using your function and enter the name of function your function and just add anything you like i am just going to get a footer text which is global variable and just getting the value of this global variable and sh showing this variable in this div with some styles like red color size 30 and margin 20 pixel and now just save this file and i am going to refresh this page and now you can see that our footer has copyright of hello world okay that's all if you have any question you can feel free to ask in comment section goodbye